So what an absolutely amazing speech. It is my honor to be here with all of you at this year's Time to Thrive in my new position as Director of Community Engagement for the Transgender Justice Initiative. My name is Tori Cooper, and I use all feminine pronouns, she, her, and hers. So I'm here to speak from the lens of a transgender woman, a mother, a mother figure, an auntie, and an advocate. When I was a teenager, this type of amazing experience wasn't possible. So I applaud each and every one of you for your part in making Time to Thrive a success once again and being powerful role models for all of our youth. Give yourselves a round of applause. So the Trevor Project cites that around 2% of, of youth identify as transgender. Those of us in this room know that supporting our kids is one of the best safeguards to helping them lead fulfilling, happy, and healthy lives. Our support needs to start early, just like you all are doing today and this entire weekend. When LGBTQ youth are shown love and support early on, we provide them a firm foundation on which to build their lives and their aspirations. And I get it. As parents, we all have dreams and plans for our kids from the day that they were born and even from the day that they were conceived. We believe they'll look a certain way and we dream that they'll have a certain job and they'll have a certain spouse. True love defies all of our best and worst intentions. We show true love for our kids and how we support them, even if we don't always understand. We show true love for our kids and how we listen and not just talk to or at them. We show true love for our kids when we allow them to live in their truth and continue to fight against systems of oppression. We show love for our kids by not abandoning them or misgendering them. We show love by leading by example. We should all be inspired by the increasing support from family, friends, and educators, from medical providers and policymakers, and folks like all of you who are creating welcoming, supportive spaces for LGBTQ youth in schools, in counseling offices, and in after school programs. Yet we cannot rest knowing that far too many folks probably some of your peers and elected officials and other leaders refuse to act with compassion and care for our LGBTQ youth. I empower you to continue fighting for policies that protect all marginalized people from oppression and remove the social barriers that keep them from living their best lives. I empower each of you with the strength and the courage to fight even when you don't want to. I encourage each of you to never forget that somewhere some kid is trying to find words to describe who they really are. I encourage you to stand up for what is right and to change what is wrong. For trans youth, this is especially important. Many of us feel like we're living in bodies that don't match what's in our heads, and that's really scary. For some of us, it's as if we're watching a television show from the inside out. People continue to attack transgender youth, literally and figuratively. But you know what? If you're speaking up for our kids in their classrooms, in their rec centers, and in their community groups, you're giving them something many of us didn't have at their age. You have the power to help them hear that there are good folks out there standing up for them to make a chorus of good that eventually will drive